Welcome everyone to getting started with Brocade SanNav Management Portal for FICON environments. Today we will be stepping through a few different tasks showing how users can enable the FICON display on SanNav, view relevant FICON attributes that are presented when enabling the FICON display, and lastly, a quick look into how to configure a new FICON fabric using the Brocade SanNav Management Portal. By default, the Brocade SanNav Management Portal doesn't show relevant FICON attributes, but can be easily configured with just a couple clicks. To do so, we click on the profile icon in the top right corner and select User Preferences. Under Display Options, we see the FICON display is currently showing as disabled. By clicking Edit, we can enable the FICON display by simply checking the box and saving our changes. With the FICON display now enabled in SanNav, users can utilize the Inventory tab to view the newly loaded FICON attributes. For example, when viewing host ports, users can now see the fiber channel address, model, manufacturer, sequence number, RNID tags, and machine type, all of which is helpful data for FICON users. It is worth mentioning that the switches, switch ports, and storage ports entities under the Inventory tab also display similar FICON attributes. Now that we have seen relevant FICON information under the Inventory tab, let's configure a new FICON fabric. To do so, let's navigate to the SAN Nav tab and click into the SAN Configuration sub-tab on the left. Clicking into Logical Fabric Management Configuration and selecting the FICON Fabric tab allows us to view currently configured FICON fabrics as well as the option of creating new fabrics using the Addition button on the top right. We simply start off by naming the fabric, assigning a fabric ID of 101, and adding a description. Next, we need to select a switch in which the FICON fabric will be created on. Let's select our X7 chassis, modify the domain ID to match what is configured on the IOCDS on the mainframe, and name our FICON switch. We can now select the ports we want to include on our FICON switch. Since in our example we want ports from slot 3, we can use a quick search to select ports 1, 2, and 3 on slot 3. We will then modify our link addresses to match what's in our HCD by clicking Edit. These will be Alpha 0, Baker 0, and Charlie 0 respectively. Let's save our link address changes and click OK. We can now verify that our switch configuration and fabric parameters are correct prior to activating the FICON switch. When saving the FICON fabric configuration, we are presented with a warning, notifying us of the tasks to be completed as well as a configuration summary once the fabric has been successfully created. The newly configured fabric now appears under Inventory. Viewing the fabric allows us to confirm switch details and add or remove additional switches from the FICON fabric. As shown, Brocade SanNav Management Portal has substantially automated the configuration of FICON fabrics as well as logical switches, further simplifying the deployment and management of FICON environments. To learn more about Brocade, please visit broadcom.com and be sure to check out our other videos on our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.